folks since last saturday january 1st i was repeatedly exposed to the covid positive patients january 1st while i was working overnight i tested two patients who initially becomes negative for covid 19 two days later they becomes positive and following tuesday I start feeling feverish and runny nose and I scared that I contracted the COVID and repeatedly I tested three days Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Fortunately, result comes negative and also I, I'm feeling much better than last two days. So today I'm working. I was working in different place. That's SUNY Afrasted Medical Medical University Emergency Department. They have two emergency department. One is downtown Syracuse. Another is Community Emergency Department. So I was working emergency department. That is Community Emergency Department of SUNY Afrasted Medical University. That this is my second night, and I was actively exposed to COVID positive patients. I, I did everything for her, like getting out to one place to another place to help him moving and you know some other procedures. So uh, also um, I supposed to go to my kids where they're living nearby the Sunya State Medical University but I don't want to push them into the race, my mother, older mother is living also uh, with them. So uh, I decided to not to go back to my kids and families. Rather, I uh, decided to go back to my hospital quarters that is uh, 50 miles drives from this place. And now Saturday morning around um, 4 a.m. So I have 50 minutes. I thought, let me share a few things about the COVID-19 and stigma regarding the COVID vaccination and other vaccination. So I um, name this discussion Pandemic 360 and myth and stigmatization regarding the vaccination overall. I welcome all of you guys. My name is Dr. Bhibhuti Bhushan Das, clinical physician forensic secretary, Office of Mental Health, New York State, Office of New York. So, I like to sh I like to share today a few interesting things before sharing those. Let me give the current situation. So today's eighth January, as per as report yesterday. In entire USA, total new cases is 648,211 new positive cases. The new date is 1,499. So this is yesterday's because now 4 a.m. becomes 8 Saturday, 8 January. So according to yesterday's report, this is current situation this is and this is the third wave of COVID-19 and it is hard that this is not so virulent or deadly than first and second wave of, of the pandemic so uh, this is new case and new date according to yesterday's report so we all know that Omicron or new strain spreading so rapidly everywhere around the globe so be careful um, take the necessary stuff do not take do not neglect it what about the uh, precaution you need just take it and keep watch on the news and follow the directions of the officials
I like to talk few things about the vaccination overall. Of course, I'll come to the uh, COVID vaccine. How people think, like, what is the current vaccination rate in entire world and USA and some of the state individually. So, as per the report yesterday, so total. Total vac dose of the vaccination around the globe, all over the world, was given 9.37 billion, and the people around the globe, everywhere, completed full dose of vaccination 3.92 billion. So basically, in the entire world, 50.3 percent people completed or received the, their vaccination so let's come to the USA total dose of the vaccine in the entire USA was given 515 million the people received complete I mean complete means first dose the second dose of the vaccination 24 sorry 205 million people so 62.3 percent people 62.3 percent people receive vaccination so it is a uh, 10 percent large larger than total world's average so what is the world average 50.3 percent in the usa 62.3 percent little um you know 12.3 uh, percent uh greater than world awards among the usa the state which the people of the state which received the highest vaccination is vermont 77.9 percent then rhode island 77.1 percent and new york 72.3 percent so this is the rate of vaccination so imagine look a big portion of the population big portion of the population is still not under coverage of the vaccination around the globe USA is little little more coverage than average of the world general population but it's still total USA vaccination rate is 62.3 percent means Almost 37.7 percent people is unvaccinated till now. So, if this is the situation in United States of America, what could be the possible outcome? Like countries like Africa or like you know those countries where it's still living under poverty why is that is that america does not have enough vaccine does not ha have their supply oh this is not such so many people are stigmatized there is so many myths around the community especially asian american african american Hispanic, of course, there is a some Caucasian also believe so many myth stigmatization. They are refusing refusing vaccine, COVID-19 vaccine, especially uh, COVID-19 vaccine. But also they don't they have myth against other kind of vaccines. I used to thought that all this myth superstition whatever we call is uh, belongs to only Southeast Asia like people like where we born and grew up because we have limited resource 
information, knowledge, education about the vaccine and other stuff. If you look, we have a much better story in Southeast Asia. I'll share that story. A person, 85 years old person, received 12 dose of the COVID vaccine, COVID vaccine in one calendar year. I'm going to share this story. Stay with me. So, if this is situation I'm saying, world average uh, vaccination rate is 55.3 percent, while U.S. vaccination rate is 62.3 percent. 12.3 12 percent is higher than world average vaccination rate. So, imagine how stupidized people in this country in this country hope they will understand they will understand the importance and efficacy of the vaccine they will change their mind and receive the vaccination because vaccination is so available for the people of United States of America it's not like our countries everywhere even you do you don't need to pay it's a free everywhere walmart supermarket pharmacies primary care office hospitals you know just go and get the vaccine even if you don't need to schedule the um make the appointment for covid vaccines but it's still 37.7 percent people not under cover of the vaccination imagine how um we are stigmatized till nowadays so of course our our country like bangladesh and some other parts we defended on the vaccine from the other countries we have a limited vaccination i believe if our countries can produce vaccine our vaccination rate would be much higher than United States of America. Our we have to defend on the others, others countries vaccine that you know we provide to our population. You, I just you know read an article. I just read an article in uh, New York Times that was uh, published on sixth January. That means Thursday. A 85 years old man is from Bihar, India. His name is Bahaman Mandal. I exactly forget the first name. Last name. His last name is Mandal. He receives 12 vaccines in one less than one calendar year. His first vaccination was February 13, 2021, and his ninth vaccination was September 23rd or something. And he wrote it all the date and time in his pocket guide. So he believes that this vaccination helps him with his other ailments that is natural for this age so uh, he was interviewed by New York Times reporter and he believed he wished that he will keep taking vaccine more if uh, there is a chance to take it so while people so many people are refusing the vaccine because of their um, because of the myth or stigmatization or whatever they believe this 85 years old male from Bihar Urisha he received 12 12 dose of the COVID vaccine so it is under investigation now how he did receive why he did receive there is so many questions arise is there is any benefit of receiving so many booster dose and also you know that taking so many booster dose sometimes 
fatigue the memory cell especially T cells in your blood and basically um, it could be um, negative results instead of having the pos positive effect from appropriate dose and boost uh, boosting because if your memory T cells expose repeatedly they they can become fatigues and they uh, becomes they fail to produce antibody against the uh, COVID-19 so but he believes that these COVID vaccines helps with his other physical ailments like you know whatever he has problems uh, back pain then his uh, headaches and some other problem he had and also his constipation he said his constipation remo uh, gone away so that's why he is keep taking the vaccine now question is how he takes same vex one person like repeatedly so he was going one place to another new camp but he was uh, he, he used some tricks like he was hiding the phone number using different phone number using a uh, national card um, voter card he, he played some tricks to hide his identity also you know uh, country like India network is not available all the time sometimes they update patients information later so uh, they track the records offline basically so somehow uh, authority was not able to track the uh, that person and so this is the story while most of the people is refusing uh, vaccine in large people around the globe this guy is so interested to take uh, take this COVID vaccine repeatedly and he wish still he will take the vaccine another story I just uh, read another article that you know you say that person effect it was not 100% reliable but also it was the article in the New York Times it just published yesterday that the COVID vaccine can inter interfere with the women's menstruation, can be delayed, can be prolonged, can be painful, can be heavy bleeding. But uh, it is not, you know, a uh, reliable source. It is just self-reported from different person. So, uh, but uh, it happens for two to three months, maybe then back to the normal. So it, it is also came uh, an article I just read like you know while i was working in new york times was published yesterday so this is this is uh really uh this this pandemic this is third wave we should learn so many things the importance of the vaccination we should um, learn the effective communication living in the age of artificial intelligence and social media the leaders who are responsible for this uh, um, this uh, public health issues should I, I believe like initially till nowadays the communication was very poor it should be more effective like you know the initiative should be much smarter um, that we found that it was really not sufficient otherwise we could save more people we get we can we can we could save or restrict the, the spread of the COVID-19 during the initial initial waves in 2020 or 2019 so folks I like to end here today just my humble request wear the mask clean your hands stay safe and watch news and pay attention to your health and your family members community peoples around which 
where you live in Omicron is spreading very rapidly you never know though we uh, who vaccinated I took the booster dose as well but still it is reported that uh, people are infected even after receiving the booster dose of a vaccine so if I find something new the upcoming days I will come on the live and let you let you know stay safe stay blessed God bless you